hi today i'm gonna show you how you can sync your outlook with joho mail so here you can see i have my joho mail and i have been logging with that account and you can see it here which is at the rate vtechpoint.com so now today i'm gonna sync this email with my outlook to sync this with our outlook you need to follow a few procedures let's go and have a look on that so here you can see uh, steps to configure Zoho mail account is IMAP in Outlook for Windows. So what it says is you need to log into Zoho mail and then enable IMAP access. For that you need to log into your Zoho mail and go to setting mail and then IMAP access. So let's go and enable our IMAP access. Let's go to our Zoho mail and go to setting and then let's scroll it down and let's go to mail account and let's click on imap and here you can see imap access it's already been enabled so you don't need to click on that if it's not enabled and you just simply need to go and check on that now i'm gonna scroll it down and here you can see these are the server you have to add while adding this joho mail to the outlook so you can scroll it down and you can add your new email forwarding but right now we are not going to forward any email so i'm gonna leave it and as you know our imap was already um, enabled so we don't have to do anything if it's not enabled you just simply need to click on that uh, click on that enable imap access and then scroll it down and click on save i'm gonna close it now and let's go to our documentation part again and then scroll it down and here what it says now you can open your outlook and go to file and then add account and then click on manual setup or additional server type and then choose pop or imac and then from there you have to add all the details like email account and then name and then incoming server and then outgoing server so here you can see we have two incoming server if you have uh, your email in joho account you can see uh, if you have a personal at the rate joho.com account then in that case you have to use imap.joho.com.au as, um, as a link and then if you have a domain if your domain is hosted with joho then in that case you need to use this link so in our case we're gonna use this one because we have hosted we have used our own domain and that domain is hosted with the Joho so now let's go and go to our outlook and then you can go to file and then you can add accounts but for me in my case I'm gonna create one more new profile so to create a new profile you can go and click on control panel go to mail outlook and so profile and I'm gonna click and create one more new profile and I'm gonna name it Joho and here I'm gonna click on manual setup click on next and then I'm gonna click on POP or iMac so it's a same process either you can do with your outlook or you can do with your control panel it doesn't matter so now I'm gonna add my name and then my email account which is at feed tech and then I'm gonna select imap and then here I have to um, copy and paste incoming mail server so I'm gonna add this one incoming mail server because my domain is hosted with the Zoho so I'm gonna add that and you need to also add outgoing mail which is this let's copy that and paste over here and you need to provide the password of your email and then click on more setting 
and then go to outgoing server take my outgoing server SMTP require authentication and then go to advanced setting and let's go to our documentation again to add the number for our IMAP and SMTP so here you can see incoming server IMAP must be 993 and then outgoing must be 465 and in outgoing server select SSL from the drop down list so it's a 993 and 465 993 and 465 from down drop down we can select SSL that it's a four, four, six, five, I guess okay now once it's done you can click on OK and then click on next so here you can see logon incoming mail server is completed and test has been completed as well now you can close it and then you can add more account if you want if not then you can simply click on finish okay and it's open with my microsoft profile so i'm gonna click on file and then change profile and click on ok start my outlook again now i'm gonna select my joho profile so here you can see my account is added you can see my new account has been added and you can see all your inbox details and newsletters and we had and I also have created a new folder which you can see over here so it will sync all your mails and folder so that's it for today in next tutorial we'll learn how to import and export our email in PST file so thanks for watching